so i tell you how to give the name to the directory with the some example to deal with the security issues uh, and now i want to tell one more thing is you can create a number of uh, ftp accounts uh, like admin accounts because website and number of admins who, who have access to the root directory of the website and uh, also ftp accounts for the person like fins which only access to the one folder so to connect to the remote servers there are number of ways the first the easiest way is by the quick connect bar so in the quick connect bar we have to uh, type the three information that is a what is a host name username and the password which we have already know okay so what is the host name host name is uh, ftp dot your domain name dot com so i type you over there ftp dot my domain name is one one two ten dot com and then your username so username is specified by your hosting provider and you can create a ftp account on your hosting services so my username is pin at a rate dot com and a password for the password I have to uh, save the paste the password over there so there is a password copy and paste over there and click on the quick connect button so I did not specify any port number so which by default is 21 okay so, I, so you can see here the status and it will after some time connect it to the remote server and refresh the uh, directory list over there update the list over there so there are some files uh, in my remote server in the remote folder uh, which I, I have access to so now I will tell you how to upload the data or how to download the data from the remote server so there are two different ways like if I want to upload a tag image uh, to the remote server so there are two different ways the first different ways first way is to right click on that image and click on the upload button okay and after some time it will upload it to the remote server depending on your net speed so uh, my file is successful transfers to the remote server and other ways is to left click on that image and drag and drop to the remote server site so here comes it override Mr. stop same file is already present on the remote server so it, I will prefer to overwrite it the file so the cells will transfer to and if you want to download a file from the remote server then click or oh, left click on any image and right click then download that image override or oh, you can also delete the files from the remote server by right click on the save file and delete it and you can also uh, transfer multiple files at a time by selecting the multiple files and right click over multiple and click up upload and it override so it will upload all the multiple files to the remote server so you can also download the multiple files from the remote server so now if you are getting a problem to connecting to the remote server so there may be a chance that there is a problem in the host name that is ftp.fundfundu.com and so there is another way like uh, you can specify the host name as the ip address of your domain so now i am telling you how to get the ip address for your domain for that thing you have to type the cmd uh, in your search bar of your window cmd means a command prompt window 
so on right now in the command prompt window so we have to type over there cd and i am using the ping command over there to get the ip address on my website ping that is www dot com so i am getting the right here the ip address 69.6478 Y dot one three zero. So I have to write it over there. So it is sixty nine point six four sixty nine dot six four dot seven eight sixty nine dot six four dot seven eight then press dot is dot one three zero now my username is the same that is a pin 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 at front of my type I paste the password there. now to click on the click connect button you can use the both previous text to connect in the front tab now you can see that we are connecting to the remote server and it's verifying certificate so at last we are connected to the remote server there is a one problem with this kick connect bar is that the data in this field like where we see the host field user field and the password phrase is temporary which means when you close the Pfizer software and restart the Pfizer software the data in this fields are deleted and you have to retype the data which is quite time taking so there is a way to save these data before we can save this data, uh, there is a one condition that the file software should be connecting to the remote server. So here, I already connected to the remote server. So by going to the file, there is an option called copy the current connection to the site manager. I click on it and here is a new site came and I change the, this to a random name like FUN, FUNDO, FUNDO and under FUNDO there is a general tab there. So in a general tab, the, these fields are already pre-filled so i will now click on the ok button so i created a, a site that is a fun font under which these options are saved so i assess this uh, site fun fun do when i restart the Pfizer software every time and connect to the server uh, remote server by uh, access to this uh, site that is a fun fun do and which will uh, reduce our uh, time to connect to the remote server so now we want to disconnect from the current visible server by we can do this by clicking on this button and close the file software and restart the file software and we can here see that these fields are deleted but we have saved this field under the fun fun do site and which which we can assess this site by going to the file under site manager and then we start here click on the button connect and we start the connection to the remote server and after it will update the directory over there of the remote server this here we can see it press the directory and then there there is another way we can also manually add the site to the site manager by going to file under site manager you can see we can create a new site give it a name randomly name on the one and we can give host name ftp dot dot com and port is by default is 21 and change the login type to the normal and if we change the user id that is a uh, admin at the red fdm.com change the password and then click on the ok button so we create another site it is 1.1 under which the ftp admin ftp account is saved now we will again go to the file site manager and we'll try to connect to the ftp account of the admin so i okay I'll, now we click on the connect button about previous connection and connecting uh, 
current tab okay so now it will making a connection to the admins ftp account and it will update the directory over there so here we can say that we can we are connected to the remote directory of the website so there is another way also to add the ftp account into the filezilla software by logging into your hosting account so i already logged into my hosting account so there is my hosting account by going into the ftp accounts folder so here we can see that there are two ftp accounts admin and function.com and fin and function.com so here we click on the configure ftp account and download this ftp configuration file so there you can see it will download the ftp uh, configuration file we import this uh, configuration file into the filezilla software and it will create a ftp in account over there under some site name and which will reduce our time okay so when we will go to the file with software here we can click on the file under file there is an option called import so import and we browse to the uh, file which we have downloaded recently and click on and give the path of that file here we can see that import settings and the selected file contains importable data for the following categories site manager entries and click in ok the selected categories have been imported ok and when i go to the site manager here we can see that the new site is created ftp.confirm.com and these fields are already pre-filled and its login type is to the ask for password means it will not uh, you know save your password but ask for the password every time you log in every time you try to connect okay so that is a quite also time consuming so you can change into the normal and save your password over there and okay so that's uh, this is another way to add the FTP account. There is a one more thing about the FileZilla software, which protocol we can use under a particular FTP account. So that thing is depend upon on your hosting services. Like I created a two FTP account, new two FTP account, which only use FTP protocol because my hosting service don't give me the authority to create FTP account, new FTP account which can use the SFTP protocol like when if you click on this uh, configure FTP program you can see here that I can use only FTP protocol no SFTP protocol because uh, there is only one account they provided to me which can use the SFTP protocol like here we can see that if you click on the, this SFTP and the uh, SFTP port they are given to you is this is the only FTP account which can use the SFTP port. No new account can use SFTP port in my hosting services. So this is all about the FileZilla software. So thank you to all of you.